What's up, Bittizens? It's Yaki from the Killer Bits here with another You Choose video, and this time you chose Reketeer, an item shop's tale. Which, I'm not gonna lie, actually came as a bit of a surprise to me. Um, but, you know, think of it, thinking of it logically, it is a fantastic game, and I don't blame you for choosing it. Um, so I'm also, you know, more than happy to play it. Uh, I never actually got round to uh, completing this game, so we're just gonna have to uh, jump through this and get to uh, earning that, earning that dollar dollar bill, y'all. So yes, uh, in this game you play as Reset or Reket, I guess, because it's pronounced Reketeer, so Reket, and uh, this fairy is called Tear, and she's essentially uh, my. Uh, What's the word? Uh, debt collector, I suppose. Merde. Oh, yes, and they all speak uh, French and Italian. Oh, and Merde? Merde is, uh, that, that's definitely French. That's for those of you who are not incl so inclined. Shit in French. Um, so, yes, basically, uh, Tira's telling me to get off my fat ass and get, you know, opened up the damn shop. Because CAPITALISM HO! It's gonna be that. It's gonna be there a lot. If you also have never, you know, played this game, and but have, I'm sure you'll have come across that uh, little meme of CAPITALISM HO. Uh, and that's basically oh, the catchphrase what? of Riquet. Reset? I'm gonna call it Riquet. If you guys have a, uh, the correct pronunciation, I'm, I, I'm sure I will hear it and read about it. Oh, but I will not adopt it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and just kind of uh, speed read this dialogue. All right, we need to get stock. So let's get that to a market, or you can also go to the Merchants Guild, or you can also eventually, uh, for uh, uh, in later point, parts of the game. Uh, there'll be adventurers because this is set in an RPG world. Actually, if those of you have. Uh, fellow people who watch um uh is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon it's not exactly if you don't watch it it's not what you think it is well it is for the first episode but it actually becomes you know less about t and a and uh, it just becomes general fan service on as a side plot it's fine And yes, as you can see, Reset is a bit of a overcat oh, even. Jeez, I can't even keep my pronunciation of her name straight. She's a bit of a eternity. <laughs> She's a bit of a a bit of a goober, bless her. Here we go. And what always throws me off when I play this game is that um the controls are the arrow buttons and Z and X, which you know I only use that when I'm playing. GBA ROMs. Not that you should, or you should. I can never tell. Are those, is that legal? Could someone verify that for me? Yes, Tear is a bit of a. Well, she's not quite a. She's not quite a loan shark, dear merchant. But, uh. She is indeed here to collect the debt that, uh. Briquette's father, God bless his soul, uh. divvied up for her. And now Briquette is left to pay the bills. I opened the iron shop today, which, yeah, so, uh, anyway, as I was saying about, um, I, I have a real problem with getting sidetracked, huh? Um, but as I was saying about, um, uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Uh, you know, the whole settings is like, it's not quite, you know, that kind of setting where it's aware, it doesn't break the fourth wall and it's aware that it's a game. It's just that it so happens that all the rules in the Spanish world follow the, uh, follow the stereotypes of a uh, MMO or whatever. So, similar to this game, uh, they don't, you know, uh, constantly make references to diff various RPGs and stuff. But they do, uh, you know, they make it obvious that this is, you know, very much a parody of every JRPG out there. Uh, it's only about a guild, blah blah. It is all very important information. If you want to read through it, you can pause and read it in your own time. But uh, we've only got an hour, people. This is a this is a big game. All right, 
So we've got 1,000 picks, so let's go ahead and uh, buy these. Just go ahead and let's buy all these worn swords. Why would I, I would sell to the guildmaster? I'm not sure. Uh, apparently for excess stock, but you know, that's fine. Uh, extra gift. He's giving me a gift of bread. Walnut bread. That sounds delicious. How would one make that? All right, old lady, give him me all. Capitalism, ho! <laughs> Adam Smith would be proud of us at any rate. I feel I should know that, who that, who that is, but uh, I'm an idiot. So, there we are. Time for a crash course on the basics of running an item shop. So yeah, at the beginning, it's gonna, it's gonna look a bit like a charity shop, you know what I mean? We gotta, we gotta slowly, in the RPG fashion, um, earn our way to better stock and uh, the primary button there you go see nice little uh, way of teaching that of tutorializing the player oh. bit of fourth wall breaking which you know thanks game for kind of just defeating the purpose I just made but the purpose the point I just made line up what we purchase on one of the counters I also follow this kind of uh, the general rules of an item shop. If you put them in a window, more people are going to see it, and more people are going to be attracted to it. As I'm sure Tier is about to, um, there you go, explain to us. There you go, eye-catching items. So the idea is you put on your more affluent or, you know, grandiose stuff out in the window, attract more customers, and then they can uh, window shop a little more around your, uh, and look at the more of your stock. So you got that little uh, glimmer to show that it's uh... more worn swords. Welcome to Reketeer for all your worn sword needs. Hate for hate new swords. Well, so do I. Uh, what do I do now? I didn't read button four. Now here's the fun part. Okay, V is button four. People, Z is a primary button. X is your Secondary, I'm assuming third will be your tertiary, but let's see, enter, force, escape, there you go, pause menu. Payment due! Now, uh, the whole uh, kind of goal system is you're working against the clock. So if you can, you can see there, uh, you know, payment due, that's when uh, I have to pay my debts of whenever. Oh, wallet bread, I also have wallet bread. Boom! There you go. Alright, that should do for explaining our wares. Are you sure it doesn't look dumb? It looks pretty dumb. Everything looks good enough for a first attempt. You don't you don't have to sugarcoat it, too. Right oh ho capitalism ho ho ho. Here you go, sit on the counter. And uh, this takes me back to the days of when I had to work at a charity shop. Well I had I say had to, I volunteered. Well then, the items are placed, and now you need to learn how to actually sell things to people without embarrassing yourself. I just realized what I just said makes me sound like an asshole to people who work in retail, right? But for reals, you guys are really underappreciated. You guys are waiters. I, uh... I can only imagine the kind of shit you guys see. But hey, at least it's interesting! If students don't listen, they do not get any credit. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Tear. Right, now, love it. Now, this is important information, guys. So when a person enters, you have to be sure to greet them with a welcome. Um, that's very much a cultural thing. Like, uh, when I went, whenever I go to, uh, go to my land of my forefathers, which is the Philippines, it's kind of weird, because you, you see an anime, but they really do, as soon as you open the door, it's, hello ma'am, hello sir, and even when you're leaving, they say thank you. It's, it's a bit of a kind of, don't stop bugging you. It's always hilarious how... You know, people are trained here, in this country, to not do that. Just, there you go. Could I get this, please? Target. So that's what I want to buy, the longsword. That's the base price. But, you know, obviously, if I press button free, I can view expanded information. Uh, the item in question. Let's the custom.exe program include a bricketeer if you wish to check or alter your butter configuration. Boy, oh boy. Uh... Yeah, and this was this was made by 
someone Fulgar? I can't quite remember off the top of my head now. But um, apart from this game and Fortune Summoners, which I've not played actually, what I'm told it's supposed to be a good game. Uh, and this as well is ridiculous. It's got su it's such a cult hit. This game. Let's see. Let's. You know, so the greatest prize serves as your default. Here's your offer. Press up. Press up. So you want to, you know, obviously make a profit. So let's aim for 1,800. Okay. Let's get your offer. Customer is satisfied with your offer. It's a sale, and you get a little bit of experience along with the money. And of course, this is being RPG. You have your leveling up and such. A bow. I can't. It's been a while since I've played this, so I'm pretty sure when you when you level up, uh, it's going to make it easier for you to sell your, you know, overpriced stuff. <laughs> and um, what was the other thing? Uh, I think you get more customers. And uh, the other one was oh, and um, a lot of the time you also get people coming into your shop trying to sell stuff. So uh, as you uh, level up, more, more and more people will come up to you and all that stuff. When you're really willing to pay an initial price, however, or not, you risk testing your possibility is up to you. I I got to a point where playing this game so much where if I, it, what, depending on what archetype I saw, so you know if it was a student buying a wear, or if I saw like an aristocrat buying buying my wares, I knew exactly what percentage to charge him. And you know, I wouldn't. And you know, the most efficient pricing. Uh, the long sword. Okay. The higher the price, press up button, huh? Boom. <laughs> Let's uh, see how much I can fleece her for. Kind of haggling a little. That's fine. But fine art of haggling. If you're ready, what you want to do is lower your price slowly. As I mentioned, there's a limit to how long you can haggle because people are only so patient in this day and age. God damn it. Deduce for the side price, but how do I? A large amount of restores sell about 30% of her base price. It's not hard, fast rule, but people will usually accept that price level. Usually. If you manage to go over that, you will make a lot of money, but you do not want to risk driving away the customer. Right then, so as I'm a customer, I'm haggling. Uh, a bit cheaper. Not too cheap. Oh, that was a little, that was a little crazy. Here you go. 1,700. How about that? It's still high. Alright, well, clearly, you know, can't be quite so aggressive, but that's fine. It's all a steel sword? Oh my god, are you actually giving me the money for tier? Please. How about that? A bit lower. I can only go as low as 4,050, and otherwise, I'm giving, practically giving it for free! Alright. Maybe a little lower. Boom! <laughs> exactly 30%! An excellent price! I know! It's gorgeous! Just to be sure. Wait, you didn't give me the money? To your face. Don't... Don't go funkin' with my heart. Boom! <laughs> Cheating the system, yo! Capitalism ho! Wanna practice twice again? Somebody asked me anytime we're in a shop. I really practice. All I need practice is from the, the school of life. That's all the practice I need. It doesn't how it goes. <laughs> Alright, a little bit left today, so let's go ahead and open the store. It comes in, so I'm going to handle them the same way that we just practiced. Salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. Uh, I would beg to differ. I totally. I totally gained the system. With you, but yeah, hey, what do I know? So, yeah, this is like the housewife archetype. And also, you know, we also tend to. Uh, 130. Uh, let's, yeah, let's be cheeky. 135. Bit expensive. Oopsie. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not that kind. What but I were? What but I were? Couldn't handle too much. Really. That would be fine. Boom! Give me that XP. Yeah, as I was saying, certain wor wor certain archetypes also buy like uh, different uh, wares and stuff, or certain wares. So like, you know, housewives will tend to buy um, pottery, furniture, uh, food. Uh, adventurers will obviously buy weapons, armor, shields. 
all that good stuff. She's so happy. I did it. I did it to your papa. I did it, you deadbeat. Papa deadbeat. That's how we started running an item shop. I haven't commented on how adorable everything is right yet. Or how everyone is just so unbelievably happy. Like, goddamn. You need to understand how Tyr and I first met. Do we have to? You know what? I'm, I might have to just skip this. I already explained. I already explained. She owes her money. Or her Papa owes her money. I'll just skip this backstory bullshit. Mad. Mad! Stop swearing, Tyr. Jeez, you kiss your mother with that mouth. Leave it to Tyr to wake up Raquette. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Let's do the best we can. Uh, okay, that's right. I have no idea what that means, but you know, that's what Tyr said, I think. Okina? Okira? Maybe. I don't know. Like all children in high school, I say all children, all budding otakus. You, you dream of a day of learning Jap Jap Japanese? Japanese. And then you don't, because you're lazy. Like me. That's fine. We have anime. And Ricketeer. Watch yourself meet me downstairs. Damn it! <laughs> okay, we have another shop of stuff. It's all cool. What do I do now? It's up to your judgment. Sit in the corner, we can open immediately. Or we can reorganize the shop. Go look for new stock from our town or elsewhere. There's an option. How do I choose? Well, as I said earlier, earlier basically, this is art. I'm not through because something deal comes. Right, let's, let's just practice. You know, playing the game. For God's sake. Oh my God. So here you go. You're right then. Let's get this right. The Guildmaster, of course, is also looking to buy back his worn sword. Naturally. Can we be a bit a little bit cheeky and sell for 143, maybe? A little bit. Are you are you quite sure, sir? You see, you, you, you gotta be finickety with your prices, fee. <clears throat> but yeah, if you're looking for, to buy this game yourself, uh, God, this is uh, this is on sale at, at least if, at least once every uh, damned uh, Steam sale. Hair more. I can go down one hair. One hair. Boom! <laughs> Bit cheeky. That is how you get the extra dollar. It all adds up, ladies and gentlemen. All adds up. So there you can see, I spent one uh, segment of my day working at the shop. Let's spend that going to the market and buying some more wares. Tree seed necklace. <clears throat> Let's buy one of those. Leave the Land of Merchants Guild. What can we get? Long sword. That's much too much for us. Town Square. What have we got? Ooh, we've got an event! I'm glad nobody's here. Alright. <laughs> Screw me right. Adventure's Guild. It's glowing. I want it. What's this place? It's the Adventurer's Guild. It just said on the damn map screen. Damn it. Um, so yeah, eventually throughout the story, uh, later on in the story, uh, Riquette befriends a uh, adventurer and more adventurers as the game goes on. And you get to go out and do dungeoneering yourself if, you know, selling or working at your uh, shop is a little too boring for you and you need to wake yourself up with some action uh, that's available. And it's obviously um, <clears throat> a lot cheaper to uh, go get your um, own uh, wares from dungeons yourself. All you have to do is you just pay, essentially you're, rent you're hiring a mercenary. Uh, you place the mercenary. Each mercenary also has their own like skills and level and different abilities and stuff. And there's even bosses and stuff like that you fight. Like I'm pretty sure these, uh, from memory, it's the second or third adventure you hire. Um, is uh, at first a boss. That's how you first meet him. And uh, once you beat him, you unlock him. Ah, something wrong? That guy over there. 
Speak of the devil, here's our first one. I can't get work, I can't get money! I can't get items. I can't get items, I can't- apparently I can't work. Heaven. If I had a few things, I could at least visit the Hall of Trials. Wonder what's going on. Let's spam the Z button and find out! Spam, 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 spam. I have an idea. Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't. I can't's dialogue is just so goofy. <sighs> Son of a heaven. Couldn't get into the guild. I don't know what I'll even do for dinner. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm right with you. I know that feel. Just up. Uh, you two would be merchants who happen to be passing by. A lot of dialogue. Stop being, stop being with a CD. He isn't a plant. You're gonna do, gonna prune me or what? Please, I can only handle so many puns. I call you a pair of angels, then, but that's kind of coming on strong, don't you think, buddy? Let's help. It's our internal friendship is rather irrelevant in this case, but it does work out neatly for all of us. What do you say? Are you pretty new to all this time? Huh? Yeah, we're all from Mr. Swordman, yes or no? Yes. So to hear being the headstrong, confident woman she is. Yeah. Uh, yay vacations. Can I get on a shirt? Can I get on a shirt? Can I get on a shirt? Thank you. Yay vacations. Capitalism ho! Gayfications, boah! God, she's a walking oh, meme. Louis, Louis the swordsman. Ah oh, man, he, uh, he 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 learned from the school of J R George R R Martin fantasy names, huh? At least it's not spelled like Louis with two e's or something something stupid. All right, can I go to the dungeon then? Go straight. Yeah, here you go. I think you wish to bring with her. Uh, nothing. I don't need nothing. Oh, wait. Right, leave. Okay, that was it. Quick Wait, what? Hmm? Hmm? Price free. Pick the items. Of course, the part at the top. Oh, right. Stupid me. There we go. Wallop. Right. Hall of Trials. Dungeon 1. This is a dungeon. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle! Two of us perfectly safe, perfectly feel around the two of us conveniently. Two monsters, we may as well be in invisible. But man, just get God, if you if you could if the two of, if Reckit and Tear could get actually get hurt while in dungeons, it would be a very difficult game. We can't collect things while we're here. Then that's why our adventure remains out of the field. He'll pick stuff up for us. Please on the field and retreat. Carry him back. However, we can take very little with us. One item at most. We're in trouble. We don't lose everything. But wait, I thought you said we can't. I'll have it for everything needed. Our bags will now carry. Cool. How much bags allow? Bags are not bottomless. Decide what we keep this card. All of this general huh? stuff. KO day. <laughs> Equip items back. <laughs> no. Yeah. Right, Z to attack. <laughs> X for me. Uh, little to spend SP and use a little AOE attack. Go to the next floor. That was an accident. Alright, we've got our map there in the bottom. Right, oops. Side attack, side attack, back attack. Boom. Alright, there's gems I'm... Oh, fine rocks, whoa! Oh boy, my health ain't looking so hot. Kill the slime. Kill the slime. Boom, back attack. There you go. Oh, jeez. No, I'm not okay. Okay. We got ourselves a chest. Boom, I am one. Yeah. Basically, that, that's that will help happen randomly. It's basically just meaning I'm about to get a critical hit. There you go. Yeah, and then combat will get a little more fancy as I level up and stuff. Get more moves. Well, at the moment, it's just pretty simple. Kind of a legend of. Ooh, boy! Legend of Zelda affair. There you go. Um, Oh god, why? Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna freaking die. Oh, ah! Scare leveled up. Ooh, leveling up. 
replenishes my HP and SP. Okay, and then let's explore the rest of the floor before we progress. Boom! Slime, f slime fluid. Slime fluid. God knows what people will buy it for, but uh, I don't want to know. I'm not here to judge. I'm only here to make money. Capitalism. Ho! Wouldn't it be great if that becomes Donald Trump's uh, little uh, calling card? card? His uh, campaign catchphrase. To go from yes we can to capitalism. Ho! Uh, politics. I say politics. Ah, uh, American politics. Zero RSP already. Alright. Next floor. Let's find something more interesting. I'm pretty sure I can leave here at any point. I can't quite remember exactly what happens. If I stay here until I die. I don't wanna find out. Maybe. Find an ah! Douchebag! You doggy douchebag! Ooh, ingredient. That will fetch me a hefty price. Ow. These falcon punching bastards. Oh, what the frick? Quit it. I'm actually kind of sturdy, thankfully. Okay. What else we got? Any more doggy punching bastards? Oh, God, no, why? Oh, God, no, why? Oh, God, no, why? Oh my god, no, why? Why do I suck? I guess only I guess only I can answer that question, huh? Oh god, why? Oh my god. I'm I'm dead. I failed. Uh what happens when I die? And suck. Uh we bring them to our field. Book at home. Not bring any items with us. But in case we're a little boss we go to us, we can bring back at least one item. That's fine. I only got what the, the, the helmet. So let's see what we got. I'm pretty sure we keep the experience I earned, which is nice at least. Let's get the helmet. That's all we need. Need to just get some rest. And this needs improvement. The daily profits. Oh dear. Wasn't a very productive day. All right. May I have a moment, please? Of course. Moments are all we have in this life, dear. Concerning the debt, I have a certain suggestion concerning it. Uh, thing. Paying it all back at once, wholly beyond your means. I reckon smaller weekly payments to slowly chip away at it. Wholly beyond. Oh, you know. It's pretty big. But yeah, that's. There you go. 10,000. Basically telling y'all what I just told you. Damn it, Tyr. Weren't you paying attention? Oops! There you go. Ready for a profitable day, I must say. Ah! The wooden helm! It just came in stock! I can give it to you to 1,532. Yes, it is that expensive. Sometimes just asking them again. Oh, not, you know. Sometimes just, uh, you know, pushing the price again. That'll, uh, that'll do it. Welcome to Ricketeer. Alright. No, no, the little girls don't know how much, how worth, like, how worth things are so much. You're saying selfish of me. How does she have any idea? I didn't have any concept of my. You're going home. No. Oh. Bugger off, I don't even want you anyway. Stupid kid. Okay, I, I get I can't afford to be stupid anymore, huh? Stupid. <laughs> Bit less than that, I can charge you that much less than that. Boom. You're most welcome. Alright, it's the afternoon. Holy cow, it's late. Time seems to fly by today. Speaking of time, the phone brings mild management. We're gonna fix managed to pay back the debt. Total management. Blah blah. blah. Morning, afternoon, and night. Okay. Let's try on on the afternoon. Go out and adventure. Oops. All trials. Let's do. Okay. Take two. Here we go. 
by me No. Gotta earn that, yo. Okay. One. You got two attacks from the side. Louis level three now, so it's gonna do me do decent damage. He slams on level one after all. Plus one, I can sell that for an even bigger price profit margin. With numbers and math and currency and stuff. Okay. Boom, level up. Dude. You can see my improvement. Oh god. God damn it. You were about to see my improvement! There you go. Oh, no. oh. Boom! Used to pull my SP, but it doesn't matter. I only got hit once. That's infinitely better than uh, what was happening before. Sure. Oh, here you go. This is the last floor. Boom! Well, now we know, guys. There's only five floors of the dungeon. This is... Did I do it? I did it! I did it! You yeah, did it, Louis! Good for you, buddy. Now give me the money. This is all thanks to you guys. Eh, that's alright. Behooves us. Tia, you really do like going for the money, don't you? Do not spout us foolishness! Flying ball of greed. Love me some treasure too, don't worry about it. I feel ya. I feel ya. You need to completely understand me. Or misunderstand me. Boom! What we got? Cards! Adventurer's Guild card. Oh, Louis now been accepted because he beat the trials. Yeah, boy! We're not surprised to demand your very first card. Think about who you want to give it to first. No, I want this. Riquette, I beg you, please take my very first card. Ah. Oh. No, really now, young people. Oh yeah, because she's a fairy. She's, you know, a lot older than she looks. As is the anime tradition. There's a Goho. Door of Return. You urge the door to turn the talents and we clear the dungeon. Boom. Head back to the floor where we had the door in. Blah, 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 blah. Skip this event. Okay, bye. <laughs>